All right, guys, welcome back to the Rest Area Podcast. We're back with season two. Um, finally, after the long awaited break, break, whatever, whatever it was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're finally back. We got a bunch of uh, new things or a little, little bit of a different setup this this season. Mm-hmm. Also, in case y'all forgot, I'm Nick. Joe. But yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that new that new intro too. Took me a while to draw draw up that new one. Came up with a whole new little the banger, new little thing, new banger. Mm-hmm. But what's up, man? You got anything um, going on new in your life, or just that something you want to bring up? Um, to start off the day. Workflow. Just been fucking working a lot. Uh, recently, it's actually been slow slowing down. Mm-hmm. So I've had like three days off a week, and it's interesting. Like three days off is almost too many days off, mm-hmm. you know? Because then, like the first day is like ah, uh, you know. You don't you feel like you never really get to relax on that first day off. You always got like something to do or some shit. No, we never do it. Yeah, that's true. But you worry about it. Not really. You yeah, sleep I do. It off. I do. I be, yeah, and you used to be sleep all day. You don't yeah. get nothing done. Yeah. Second I mean, day is like, all right, you know, kind of, I'm feeling this, you know. On the third day, I was like, damn, you know, I'm kind of bored. For me, it's the exact opposite. Like, it's like when I have a long weekend, mm-hmm. it's usually I get a ride off of work and then I go to whatever function's going on already because mm-hmm. there's always something planned. So then that night that I'm like still tired of shit, I end up going out still. Mm-hmm. And then I get fucked up, go home. And then that whole day, basically just recover in the morning, be mm-hmm. lazy. And then that's the day that I'm like, oh, I gotta do shit, but I'm, like, I'm off tomorrow. So I don't have to do shit mm-hmm. till Sunday. And then Sunday I leave everything for me to do. That's the difference between a homebody and somebody's always out. No, you always out. We talking always, about trying to expose me. I'm always out like after work though. Does it matter? Yeah. Nah. On days off, that's different. Nah, it doesn't matter. All, going out's going out, whether it's during work or on the weekends. Eh, I don't know. No, if, if anything, you go out more than me now, or you go out drinking more than me. Oh yeah, well my job's like next to a bunch of bars. Exactly. And then everyone gets together after work, which is still like work because you're there. Nah, nah, you don't have to be there. Yeah. And you're paying to be there. I guess. <laughs> a lot a lot of people I know that were, like, a part of that, like, just that, almost, not, I call it server life. I know you're not a server. No, it's, but, it's that industry life. But it's that life that, like, you know, you just go out to drink right after because, mm-hmm. you know, you're just tired and you get the hook up on alcohol and then, yep. you know, it's just uh, kind this of a like mental a, break. But it's I, I know, a, it's I know, a way to wind down. Yeah, but I know day. a lot of people who do not fuck with that, like, at all. Maybe really? because they learned from their experiences mm-hmm. but they just don't like they're like nah I don't go out drinking with coworkers. they just go straight home and mm-hmm. stuff like that so it's like yeah it's very rare but I feel like someone, that's someone who like definitely like wants to keep it separated May I, I don't know maybe maybe something happened yeah with, like with, like, get, like put met, a bad taste in their yeah, mouth yeah like money or yeah like, something they did when they were drunk and yeah or something yeah. they got too close to the car yeah but I met people like that that they just mm-hmm. They just do not hang out with coworkers after work. Uh, yeah, I definitely do. It's that's, fun. That's what they always tell me. No. Mm. <laughs> I don't hang out with Pete coworkers after work. It's it's fun, and then the all the bars around my job, we get an industry discount. Yeah. So we get discounted drinks, like uh, I bar Louie, we get like we get happy hour prices. So it's like three fifty for drafts, mm-hmm. like the small ones. And then four fifty for appetizers, and then five fifty martinis. So it's like a really good deal. Yeah, especially for me because I drink a lot of beer. No, I cut back on drinking in general. Mm-hmm. Just I drink on the weekends. My new rule is Monday through Friday can't drink. If I drink on Friday, the only like loophole I have for that is I have to wait till twelve because mm-hmm. it's technically Saturday. Yeah, but. Yeah, Monday through Friday, I don't drink anymore, and then on, on top of that, I don't drink beer on the weekends. I mean, I will, mm-hmm. like, if that's, like, oh, someone bought it for you. Yeah. But, nah, if, if it's, just like, I'm ordering my beer, I'm buying stuff on the, I mean, alcohol, um, then I'll stick to, like, hard seltzers or, like, those healthy alternative cocktails. Mm-hmm. So. so I, I've been wanting to go with Total Wine for a while. Total Wine is fun. Mm-hmm. Just so I can see what, what they got. It's fun. You got all the free samples I've been hearing about. Oh, yeah. There are free, free, free samples there. And they have, like, I think the biggest selection of, it's not tequila. I think I think whiskey. Because they have, mm-hmm. like, two two whole aisle bays, like, oh, wow. left and right. And then it goes down for, like, maybe 50 feet of just mm-hmm. whiskey. 
I'm not I'm not really that into drinking like liquor. Like I'll drink it if it's there, but I won't. Like let's say I go to a bar, mm. I won't choose like like hey, give me a whiskey on the rocks or some shit. Like mm. like I, I don't really do mixed drinks. Yeah, I just feel like it's so much more expensive. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, probably not. It, it might end up being. It's the probably same about the same, yeah. Because you know they're gonna hit you harder, faster. Mm-hmm. So you think about it, seven fifty nine dollars yeah. for a beer, and then thirteen fourteen bucks for a, a cocktail. But you're gonna drink like six beers and four or five cocktails, mm-hmm. or just whatever you end up getting. Like, yeah, it, it might save you money. I don't know. I don't want to do the math on that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> for my habits, beer beer's pretty good for me. Uh, it's good for me. Where's that from? You ever seen that, uh, that you know, the wife swap show? Oh, yeah. The, the <laughs> Whenever he's emptying out the, the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> what does he say when he's leaving? <laughs> you can't treat me like this. <laughs> yeah. That's no. me every time I feel like moving out, and then I realize I have no money. <laughs> so I go right back home. One of the little ASMR, little little White Claw action. Here, I have a good ASMR for people. Nah, that was the only ASMR section. Mm, no. Do you like ASMR? Like, have you ever like, like listened to it like actively? No, it's weird. Yeah, I can't get into it. I tried it. I hate that. I was like, it's <laughs> like, like I'm already up. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> mm, that's ASMR. What you mean, pain ASMR? Let's go. How's work been going for you? Me? Uh, work's picked up for me. Um, I hate it. <laughs> I just hate like where I'm at there because mm. I know that like I'm ready to move on from yeah driving. Like but like, I just like I just want to like I know what I want to do. Mm-hmm. It's just how I'm gonna do it and how quick, how long it's gonna take to get there, and like just me being every day I'm there just reminds me like. A day less that I'm not being productive, I guess. Like, day less, like, you could be doing something else. Something else, basically. And, like, it sucks because, like, I can't just leave like I want to because, obviously, it's, you know, real world. I got bills to pay. I mean, you could. All right, well. That's what I did. I got bills to pay, and I can't just do that. So. Yeah. I'm stuck there until I'm not stuck there. I just go find another job. Hmm? Just find another job. I mean, the only thing with that is, like, I'm... If I'm gonna leave my job, I don't want to leave for a crappy job. Mm-hmm. So I want to find something that like I can at least see myself like growing in, mm-hmm. or at least like enjoying it for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean that's where I'm at right now with work. Like I, I'm at where I'm like where everyone else is at in their late twenties. Like they just hate mm-hmm. clocking in every day and doing the same shit all the mm-hmm. time. I mean I'm I'm surrounded by good people. That's the only good part about yeah, it. But I true. mean that's not a good reason to stay anywhere. Yeah, you know, even even if I'm cool with uh, you know my my boss and my coworkers, and yeah, I have no issues. I have no issues with anybody. That's not the okay, the mm. the problem. The problem I, is I definitely like, like miss like the people like just having conversations on the road and shit, mm-hmm. hanging out basically. Yeah, they miss you too. Uh, well, they're always not always talking about you. Just bring you up. Uh, they don't see you no more. Then. Yeah, but um. I got a bunch of stuff planned coming up. Uh, one of the big things, I guess, is like starting my YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to get serious about it. Um, I'm a, I'm starting watching videos on like editing. Yeah. And stuff like that. And so I'm you want to start help editing these podcasts? Yeah. You get a little basically, practice. Basically, basically. <laughs> um, but yeah, because I want to start like a channel, not not a, like a fitness or weight loss, because that. I just want to record, like, basically what's going on in my life at the moment. Yeah. Right now, it just so happens to be my main focus is losing weight. Mm-hmm. So, I guess that's what I would start it at. But I yeah. don't want to limit myself to just a weight loss channel. Yeah. But, I mean, it's going good. Or but, name it Joe Fitness. Nah, that'd be the worst. <laughs> I think I'll just do Joe, Joe the POTUS 2.0. I like that. Uh, 2.0? Yeah. What's 1.0? Trash. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> oh, you already have one, right? Yeah, I have a. I have a <laughs> that that is a, that one is a fitness Instagram, just because I don't want to bombard people. My uh-huh. my main one, like, I don't give a fuck if you're losing weight. You know, yeah. I mean, pro- some probably people probably do. Yeah, probably, but I was like, just follow this account. Uh, I didn't care. see Blue was there. Yeah, he's chilling here. But um, um, yeah, I lost. But it's not even in the angle. Sixty two pounds, maybe sixty three. Really? Hell yeah! Dude. So far, and uh, clothes just. 
to me better. I don't see much of a difference, but I, mm-hmm. I do you feel it. I definitely feel it in my knees, and uh, that's, I mean, I don't know. I just feel mm-hmm. it all around. Yeah, uh, I've been, I've been losing weight too. Actually, mm-hmm. I've been happy about that. Like my clothes fits a lot better now. Like I, I definitely feel like I lost inches, but it's it's just because like I changed my diet. Mm-hmm. Like not intentionally, just like because I was like, damn, like I realized how like Unhealthy. shitty I was eating. Yeah, for a while. How, what what made you think that? Uh, Is just, everyone telling you? <laughs> <laughs> no, just like whenever I like, I think it was like one day I was just eating like whatever, whatever the fuck I made. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn, dude, I've been eating this shit a lot lately. And like I was drinking like a bunch of sodas recently. Too. Like during that time, I was like, fuck, I need I need to change this because. I'm gonna get real fucking fat. So then, like, I started drinking my because I have a pitcher of water that I drink out of, like here. But then I also have one. I also have one at work that I just like fill up, have a pitcher of water, and, like, and I'll refill that. So I started doing that. I cut out sodas. Like I drink it like once with whatever I'm gonna eat that day mm-hmm. at work. And uh, like the food I make for myself is like healthier. Relatively like, healthier. I'll I'll gravitate more towards a salad or like like nothing too greasy. Since I've been eating like better, mm. like since I started meal prepping, I hate salads. Really? I mean, they're disgusting. Salads like, are so good. Like they, they can they can taste good sometimes. What kind of salads do you be making? I mean I don't make them, I just buy them, but I mean if I get uh, them I like I like doing um I don't like iceberg. It's like too What? I love iceberg. I hate iceberg. It's like That's my favorite. It's like uh it's crunchy water. Yeah, I love that. I hate that. I love the I love a, a crunchy salad. Oh, fuck no. I it's can't crunchy. do I can't do like leafy greens. I can. I'd rather do leafy greens. Nah, I don't like that. I'd rather do leafy greens with like some sort of protein, maybe some sort of ba- uh, balsamic. Balsamic. Uh, yeah. Whatever. And uh, some ranch is good too, but you, mm. you can't have too much of that. Yeah. Um, I mean, literally everything that I like in this, like croutons too, they're bad. Mm. Um, I, I wonder why they do that too. I mean, sell it's salads. Like, it's like everything in like uh, what's it called moderation. Not, yeah, everything in moderation. No, but still, like they're not good. Like they're not good for you. It's just extra carbs you don't need. It's bread. Yeah, it's, it's extra carbs you don't need in, in like a healthy mm-hmm. thing in a healthy dish. Mm-hmm. And like the the amount of sauce they put in like the packets that you get with them, you know, yeah. it's like in your mind you're like, okay, I got, I'm gonna use the whole thing because they gave me the whole thing. Mm-hmm. That's what most people think. Mm-hmm. Right? That's why I used to think. And then you're like, well, I shouldn't even... Like, you start reading calories and carbs and yeah. everything. You're like, well, why do they give me this packet of fucking bullshit? Mm-hmm. Right, like, literally, like, some salads, if you come with... If you eat it with everything that's included, mm-hmm. it's worse than, like, the burger and fries that you're going to get. Really? Like, not worse, but just as bad. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know why why it's marketed like that. To, like, sell it as healthy. Salads? Yeah. Well, they usually are healthier. Just the way you can get them. I mean, yeah, but like, think like, if, about, you, th- think like about if you it, like, if you get a salad and you add a bunch of shit, it's obviously not. Gonna yeah, be but think about somebody who doesn't know anything about anything, like mm-hmm. food wise, and they're like, okay, I want to make a change, start making a change, and then they're like, oh, well, I'll just get a salad, mm-hmm. and in their mind, okay, they gave me everything I need for the salad, mm-hmm. put everything in the salad. Well, they're dumb for not doing the research. Nah, a lot of yeah. people don't, dude. A lot of people. If, do they, not if someone that. wants to like be healthier, they should do research. No, look, you're gonna learn that along the way. I'm still doing research now. Mm-hmm. I don't know everything. Yeah. People don't know everything. People don't know a lot. And then, yeah. like, I feel like when you're making that transition but over, you wanna, you wanna like get healthier. So you're learning about stuff, aren't you? No, no, exactly. exactly. I'm learning. But what I'm saying is, like, why market it like that in the mm-hmm. first place? Like. I mean, you're going to sell it anyway because people who are buying the stuff, mm-hmm. maybe it's like a 50-50, maybe half don't know, half do know, like, not to put that shit in there. Yeah. But you're going to sell it anyway to the people who want to, like, get healthy. So, and they're not going to use any of the shit. Mm-hmm. So, like, I don't get it. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. And then, like, people are going to learn after, mm-hmm. like, if they're really committed to it, they're like, oh, wait, I shouldn't have been doing that. But mm-hmm. then they did it for, like, a week or two, three weeks, or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, like, I don't know. It yeah. doesn't make sense to me. That, that's all. Yeah, that's a no, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I see what you're saying. But yeah, uh, no, definitely every single day I learn more and more about um, like fitness and stuff like that. The other day um, I started doing weights recently because I lost, you know, 60 whatever pounds of fat. Mm-hmm. My goal was to lose 80 pounds and then start building muscle from there. Mm-hmm. 
but that was like, I want to do that for my birthday. My birthday passed. So I'm like, you know what? It's time to hit weights because yeah. I like plateaued and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I was like, let me start hitting weights. So I started doing bench press and, you know, everything, legs, chest, back. And the other day I had like this whole leg day workout planned. Mm-hmm. Like I went on YouTube and I did my research and I was like, okay, okay, okay. Let me do this, this, and this. Dude, after my warm-ups, my legs were putting. I couldn't even get up. And I was just like, I was sitting on the wall like, why? <laughs> why did I do this? And then I was like, you know what? I ain't no bitch. Like, I had that mentality. Like, yeah. man, fuck this shit. I'm going to fuck this workout up. And I was like, man, fuck this shit. And I went, I went to this machine. It was just basically like a weighted step up. And you grab these little cables, and then you step up, and mm. you step down, step up. And then it just works on your glutes and your hamstrings. And the first step I did, my knee jerked, and I was like, oh, oh, oh. and then, like, <laughs> I was, like, starting to fall backwards, like, I'm about to fall yeah. in front of everybody, and I was like, no, please, and I just jumped off, and I really hurt my knee, and I looked around, it was empty, mm. but I'm like, damn, the fact that it's empty probably means that more people saw me, because <laughs> it was busy, no yeah. one, everyone's doing their own thing, waiting. Just see to them, uh, fucking it, inflatable, well, welling fl- Yeah, that's exactly what I looked like, like, an inflatable, like, fucking yeah. car thing. The wacky inflatable flailing arm man. Yeah, that that shit. No, but after that, <laughs> I, I was like, you know what? Fuck, I dump your ass, and I went to the bicycle and just did that, and then I went to the sauna. Mm-hmm. Um, I got real comfortable because, yeah. uh, like with my body, I guess, because I was always like super insecure about taking my shirt off in front of like, I mean, not not necessarily guys but just like in public yeah in, no pub, in public is like the yeah. thing that gets me like i can change in the locker room mm-hmm. in football or you know with my friends whatever yeah. change in front of them and i don't care but like in public you know the gym's still public so yeah it's it just mean. like i don't know i wasn't comfortable with it and then now uh i got to the point where i would look in the mirror i'm like fuck i'm disgusted with what i see so mm-hmm. i wouldn't i would avoid a mirror with the, my shirt off yeah and i still don't look good in, the, in front of the mirror but like it's it's a mentality thing versus yeah. like a reality thing, so like I just like today I actually mm-hmm. I posted a picture of me with like my shirt off, it wasn't even like in a mirror, it's like a reflective uh-huh. like, window or something, because like I'm like starting to come out of my shell like yeah. as far as confidence goes when like it comes Mr. to my Krabs. body. Yeah, because I'm... Wait, what like Mr. Krabs? Yeah. <laughs> He's on his show. Yeah. That's how I feel. <laughs> I don't want to show I'm free. That's how I look, too. <laughs> <laughs> You're just pink and, yeah. and just... Just, like, gross and, like, all... Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, but, no, yeah, like, like I just really started feeling like good about my body because I just started losing weight. Mm-hmm. And, like, like, I can see the difference when I'm wearing, like, certain clothes that didn't fit me, like, a couple months ago, like, six months ago. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, like, I don't know, like, I've just been feeling a lot better about myself. I probably shouldn't, because I'm a piece of shit, but, uh... Nah, it's always good to feel good about yourself, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's like manifesting it mm-hmm. to reality. You feel like shit about yourself, and you're gonna... Yeah. The result's gonna be shit. Like, it, like it, when I go to a pool, probably, like, this summer, like, I'll probably, like, just take my shirt off, because I usually don't. I'm not at that level yet, but I am, like, working towards that. Yeah. Because, like, I'm like, you know what, bro, like... The fuck, why, why do I care what these people mm. think, you know? And also, like, the thing I thought, the thing I started thinking about was, like, no one cares. Like, no one gives a yeah, shit. Yeah, literally no one cares. And if they do care, then they're the, concerned about themselves, yeah, not like, you. They're more worried about themselves. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. I, 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 like, I started realizing that recently. It's like, you know, like, no one gives a fuck about yeah. if I have my shirt off or something. Yeah, and that, that, the when I started thinking that was when I was in the sauna and basically, I was drenched. Like, I, I sweat a lot in the sauna. I think it's because I, I hold a lot of water retention. Yeah. And so, like, my shirt is drenched. Mm-hmm. So, when I go outside and it's cold, you know, I'm freezing. Not only that, my car started to stink. Mm-hmm. You know, dr- just driving home for yeah. 20 minutes is going to stink. So, I was like, damn, I can't keep doing that. So, I just take off my shirt in the sauna, leave it, like, on the side drying. And I just chill. And the first, the first day I did it, I noticed, like, nobody even batted an eye at me. Yeah. You know? So, it's like... Man, whatever. Let me let me take these baby steps and start mm-hmm. feeling a little bit more you know confident. Who never give a fuck about their bodies. Uh, hold up. I feel like I'm. I'm I feel like I know where you're getting at. Bodies. <laughs> no, I don't know. Fucking old people in the gym. Oh, dude. That motherfuckers walk around butt ass naked. Dude, they walk around with their dicks out. Yes. I'm just like they'll they'll take a shower there and then just walk out of the shower mm-hmm. and dry themselves off outside of the shower. Yeah. 
I've it's seen like, that shit a lot. That's just weird, though. No, that's fucking like, come on, dude. Yeah, that's just weird, but they don't give a fuck, so. Yeah. When I, I, won't, I know when I'm old, I'm not going to go fuck you. I saw, I saw this video um, on Twitter with this, like, this dude was, like, kind of just posing in front of the camera, mm-hmm. flexing, and just showing off his, um, his, po- his poses, mm-hmm. and this dude, like he said, old dude just goes up to the blow dryer behind him, and, like, flicks the little thing to yeah. turn it on. And he's just like drying his like his nuts and his dick under the dryer or something like that. And he's just like in the video like, oh my god. Mm-hmm. Oh, another thing. Hype up your friends. Make them feel but amazing. But not your family. No, not your family. Like not fuck your, Joe. Yeah, fuck I'll never Joe. Hype him up. But no, just like fucking hype hype your people up, man. Makes them feel good. Like I've had friends like like hype me up and shit on mm-hmm. uh, like shit I've been posting recently. It's like it makes me feel good. Like. like like it really gives you a boost of confidence. Mm-hmm. Like like it makes like it makes my day and shit. Yeah, I mean you wouldn't have any friends that like you look like a piece of shit today. <laughs> I mean I have you for that. Yeah, but you're keep not you my hum- friend. Keep you humble. Yeah, you're not my friend. <laughs> I'm family, bro. Yeah, I'm stuck with you. <laughs> no, yeah, like definitely like, fucking do it. Like it's it makes them feel good. Trust me. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely on a new like wavelength and thinking pattern and mm-hmm. i'm just in tune with my aura <laughs> like it's different vibes man yeah it's like uh, have you seen the uh, the red table talk with willow smith and them uh-uh. no? <laughs> no that's all they speak it's like <laughs> really? your energy and aura is just yo feel it. and then the all willow the whole time you know willow smith yeah the daughter all she does is like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and she just <laughs> mm. And the mom like is like like saying some fake deep shit. Yeah. I mean, eighty percent of the time it's like good shit, but the twenty yeah. percent is like fake ass deep shit. Yeah. And then you just see Willow. Mm. That that woke shit. Mm. Mm. Bro, like not to hate, Wait. but I'm a hate. Like that shit's annoying. What the the woke shit? The, 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 that fake woke shit, especially yeah. around like from like young younger people. Yeah, like, who think they know shit, but they don't know the, shit. But they're at just all. fucking jugged out all the yeah. time. It's like, oh, yo, get some bills or something. I can't. I can't be around <laughs> those people. I, I literally can't. those are the ones people I, I, I gotta, vibe I gotta with. be in a certain like mindset to be around those people mm-hmm. I'm down to have um, conversations like oh yeah for sure like like, like um, those deep conversations mm-hmm. but I definitely have to be in the mood it can't be random like it's just not all the time it, yeah no fuck that shit's exhausting fuck that I can't do that I don't know, maybe but, we're getting off bad vibes right now or something <laughs> yeah for real right you know we're the problem Joe <laughs> no nah, for real it's us yeah. <laughs> we're, we're the assholes I hope the coronavirus <laughs> gets us first <laughs> Nah, bro. I only drink white clothes. Um, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I uh, I started like I scared myself out with that coronavirus shit. Really? Because um, just well, okay. The only reason I scared myself out is because no one's making a big deal of it, but then people are making a big deal out of it, mm-hmm. and it could be all politics because you know we got the big election coming up, right? Yeah. So either the coronavirus could be like, almost like this fake, yeah, um, I know what you're talking about. fake like type deal to like, um keep distraction from the, the you know, election you, you know or there's been like 90,000 cases and like 50,000 have been like taken care of I, I see I didn't even know that um but it also could be like it's actually very very serious mm-hmm. but since Donald Trump is running for re-election if there was an outbreak in the US it would dramatically affect his um yeah. people just because he's the president so it's like what the fuck you're lying to us or yeah. you know just like it's just all politics so I don't know what Hopefully it's the other one where it keeps us distracted from the election. Yeah, it's like, like, like they're reporting on like the like the worst part of it. Mm-hmm. But there's also like, oh, you know, a lot of people are being Treat, not, treated, like, like treated for it, and like successfully treated for it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just a flu, but mm-hmm. it's like basically just um, almost like a synthetic flu that your body's not used to fighting off. Yeah. And I saw, I saw a tweet the other day. It's like, there's no way it's gonna stop spreading in America because Americans are. Or like, it's like it was like along the lines of like the most funny, stupid people ever. Mm-hmm. Like most incredibly stupid people. Yeah, ever, like so. you, we do some dumbass shit. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it makes sense. Like fucking Houston, the rodeo's still gonna go on. Yeah, seventy thousand um, people. They're they're thinking seventy doing or seven, probably maybe seventy because 70, yeah, it's, it's probably it's in a, a big huge stadium. Thing. Um. Yeah, because I know that today they did the soccer thing with, uh, I don't know what team Cristiano Ronaldo's on. I'm not a soccer fan, mm-hmm. but I know he moved to another team. But anyway, um, I know they did a game today with uh, no fans. Really? So it's just like them. 
and he pretended to like dab up fake fans. So he was just like, <laughs> yeah, like dabbing people yeah, up. The but air. they're thinking about doing that in the. Um, Are they also uh, canceling South by Southwest or postponing it? I saw that. Which Spe- makes sense. Speaking of um, of uh, South by Southwest and posting, did you see Post Malone recently? Oh, like with him like being fucked like up, being fucked up completely on drugs. Yeah, like he's, dude. I'm like that worries me and shit. Like with all the fucking rappers and everything, like, like dying and shit. Yeah, he needs. He just needs uh some help. Mm-hmm. I saw someone too. He's like, like, what? What's his real name? Um, Austin. Austin. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, Austin's just a really serious artist. You know, he gets really into his uh, mm-hmm. craft. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah blah, leave him alone. He's on drugs. Mm-hmm. And I was like, dude, come on. I mean, I can see that, like, but yeah, but there's, there's also certain like um, certain like things, certain things he's, he's doing. doing. Yeah, they're like you're like, like I mean, when his eyes like rolling all the way like back and shit. You might not be on drugs, but you're probably like, doing some too much alcohol. Something, dude. Too much alcohol. I mean, alcohol is just as bad as drugs. Yeah, know? it's just uh, takes longer for the for the effects to. You know, go and play. They kill you and shit. Yeah, but no, it, it really does suck. Hopefully, I mean, I know he said that he's doing fine and mm-hmm. you know he doesn't need help or whatnot, but hopefully he does figure it out and mm-hmm. whatever. He, does, I mean, it's crazy because he moved out of L.A. to like get away from that like yeah. toxic shit. Because I know he stays like in Arizona, mm-hmm. so it's like, I mean, hopefully you're getting the help you need out there. Yeah, hopefully. I ain't trying to. Lose, lose another one. I actually have a had a conversation with like a small rapper with Post Malone. Basically, no, no, no. But I was just talking to him about just like um, people taking advantage, and you know, I was I was a little drunk, and I was just asking him like, "Hey, bro, like, like now that you kind of made it, because he's I mean he's like somewhat successful, but not yeah. super." Uh, I was like, now that you kind of made it, how many people come out and ask you for, you know, basically a handout or help or, you know, hey, shout me out or um, let me borrow some money or let me invest in this. He's like, bro, like, he's like, I, he's like I'm literally alone because mm-hmm. he's like, I've had so, he's like, I don't even have that. Like, he's like, he does well for himself, like very well for himself. Yeah. But he doesn't have like those millions of dollars, you know, mm-hmm. and people act like he does. And yeah. so he's like, bro, like, I can't, I, like, I can't even like keep up with that shit you know so he mm-hmm. had to cut so many people off just because of how fake people can be yeah and that sucks because you know imagine like you know like a post malone type type of guy he's been on the charts for the past three years yeah making stupid money imagine how many people have asked him for handouts and oh yeah stuff like sure. that. people think just because like your friends are rich that that makes you rich by association no they're gonna give you money or presents or whatever yeah, out of something. out of like their kindness of their heart if they feel like you deserve it yeah you know I know it's tempting to be like, oh, hey, bro, like, come on, bro, mm-hmm. you know, I fuck with you, and, you know, they yeah. just borrow this and whatnot, but, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you gotta look out for yourself. Yeah, for sure. They hustle for what they got, and now you gotta hustle for your shit. hmm Like, when this podcast takes off, cutting everybody off, even Funny you. Enough. What? Yep. Joe, you're funny. No, I'm cutting you off. I'm gonna record my episodes and send them in to you. <laughs> We're gonna require a part separately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like now. I was actually disappointed because uh, I was supposed to go see my favorite podcasters. Um, podcast? Yeah, podcasters. Mm-hmm. Um, this month and then the month. Uh, I didn't buy tickets because when I was gonna buy them, they canceled them. Mm-hmm. So I can still buy them, but they were supposed to come at the end of the month. And uh, to Dallas. It was a, yeah. It was gonna be in Grand Prairie Theater. It's a uh, Tiny Meat Gang, Cody Co. and oh, Miller. Oh, they're going to be here? They're going to be here. Um, they canceled it because they said that they were going to do a, a whole new show on the second tour. Because they're doing a world tour right now, but that one is like a, like a half of a new skit or tour process. Because mm-hmm. they came on tour, and then basically they're saying that like if they would have came on tour again in the U.S., it would have been almost identical to the first like act or whatever yeah. they did the first time with some new jokes in there. Mm-hmm. You know, so like, we don't want to make people pay for um that makes sense. for the same thing over, and like yeah, we we felt bad like rescheduling, but at the end of the day, like we'd get more like basically they'd get more shit for like doing the same thing twice. Yeah. So I mean that's good for them the, for sure that they take some tar- some sort of pride in their craft or work. A lot of people would just do the same thing over and over. Yeah, that's true. 
like whenever we have our podcast tour and shit. That'd be real cool to have like a fan base one day where like we can just like maybe not even on the, on the scale that they're at, no, just but like just like small, like a Texas tour or something like mm-hmm. that, where like we just go to like San Antonio, Austin, and yeah, like like hit Dallas first. No, no, not Dallas. Dallas last, mm-hmm. and then hit like Austin. San Antonio, yeah. go through it's Houston, like a little, like, little loop. and then go back da- up to Dallas and have the last tour there. Yeah, that, that'd be that, really that'd cool. That'd be some really cool shit. Like, I think at that point, we'd only need a couple hundred thousand followers, mm-hmm. you know? And that's that's a lot. Oh, yeah, sure. That's tr- YouTube, YouTube-wise, it's not that mm-hmm. much. You know, that's a small YouTuber still. Even now, I think millions is still small. Is it? Like, like one, two million. No. And then you get into, like, the nine, ten, you know, from it's, there on, it's like, it's crazy you're a big channel. Like, you like get into YouTube shit because like there's someone like so like creators that have like millions of followers but like you've never heard of them because mm-hmm. you're not oh, like, you're not yeah. part of like that section that, of yeah YouTube yeah or that's shit. cool that is that's cool like, and interesting like, yeah like everyone like ha- like has their niche and shit yeah and then like, like uh, it's a really cool thing about the the other people like in mm-hmm. uh, out of the U S uh, yeah like internationally internationally there's shit, a bunch dude. of like, uh, like Japanese. Um, like big uh YouTubers mm. and Mexican, there's huge like YouTubers in Mexico. Dude, it's crazy, like everywhere. Yeah, it's funny because my mom watches mukbangs like all day. <laughs> like she, <laughs> that's literally all she watches. It's funny because now that mentioning your mom, uh, we uh, we kind of me and my sisters. His his mom is my sister basically, mm. but um, we started like, this group chat, right? Did you? Uh, yeah, like well they started it, and yeah. yeah. We started this group chat on Facebook, and I don't use Facebook at all, but they just added me into it, and we just started, like, basically just, I mean, chatting it up a little bit, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's like you and all your sisters? Yeah. And uh, it's funny, they just always, like, throw sneak disses at each other. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. But it's because, it's, it's I, I find it funnier because it's not sneak dissing. It's like... Yeah, everyone knows who they're talking about. Yeah, yeah, and then they're very blunt about it. Yeah. And then I'm just like, damn, bro, yeah, I do not care. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> like they be t- talking about each other's moms and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, your mom, this is how old your mom, this how old your mom look right now. And just shit like that. That's funny. Dude, I'm happy I've been, I've been hanging out with, like, that side of my family. Uh-huh. Recently. Because, like, they, they like to drink and shit. Like, it's cool. Mm-hmm. But it's like growing up, I never really like, hung out with them because I don't know, I just never really felt well, like I mean, it. Isn't I, I never really went to family outings like yeah. as I got a little bit older. Like recently, was like I've been wanting to reconnect with them. Yeah, like, man, it's, it's fun. Yeah, that that was actually one of my New Year's resolutions. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're three months in the year. Yeah. Um, but uh, that was one of mine. Was like just was it rec- uh, trying to be more uh, family oriented? I, I meant more. More like immediate family, yeah. But family in general, yeah. Like, it was also a thing, because uh, you know you 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 tend to start growing out of your shell growing up after yeah. high school, and then yeah, literally, you yeah. kind of realize that you know what, like family is a little bit yeah, more like, important than I like, thought. I would like always avoid like family outings and shit, like extended family. Mm-hmm. When I was like, yeah, you know, I'll definitely try to make it. Yeah, to, like, wherever like I get invited. Exactly. I think it hurts when you stop getting invited and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you're, you're like, I haven't pulled up the last five years, but it might be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I want, the, I want the option. Yeah, hell yeah. I feel like that's right. I'm like, no, I don't really get invited anywhere, but like, I feel like no one like knows how to invite me because mm-hmm. I don't have the same social media as them or yeah, I don't have their numbers. They don't mind. So it's, it's usually like through you. Like, I'll, like, I'll find out through you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, no, I mean, they invite me, they're inviting you. Yeah. Because they tell me, like, hey, invite Nick. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's usually how it works now. Yeah. No, it's fun. I mean, I definitely like um, just going out and having a good time. Not even getting drunk. Yeah, not even. It's just fun. It's just fun mm-hmm. being around people. Definitely. Family is. and stuff. If anything, I like getting a, a nice little buzz and yeah. then seeing people get fucked up. Yeah, that's, that's my pretty favorite. funny. Like making fun of him, <laughs> like our recent, like my recent Tia's birthday. Oh yeah, that, that was fun. Yeah, she, that was a lot she, of fun. Yeah, it was fun. Racist ass bar though. Oh yeah, I wonder why they chose that place. It was in front of the. It was in front of the. Is that really why? That was why. Were yeah. they closing at the Alamo or what? They're closed already. Oh okay. The, the karaoke section apparently mm-hmm. was closed, and the bar closes earlier. Yeah, um, I told you like. Yeah, but close um, early. Apparently, they had called beforehand to see if. The oh, they could, like, stay in. Yeah, so. this is, yeah, but then, nah. She went to Carrollton. The I mean, Korean, yeah. Korean. Yeah, yeah, Korean I've heard of that. Zoo. I've heard of that. Those are cool. I, I wanted to do that for my birthday. My birthday just passed. I turned mm-hmm. 23 years old. Um, 
But we ended up going to Vidora, leaving mm-hmm. Vidora. Yeah, we just go to like any random day. I don't have to be for your birthday. Mm-hmm. No, no, I'm down. I'm down. I'm definitely down. I can. I'll, I'll fuck up a couple. Uh, towers. A couple songs. No songs. Oh, I'll fuck up some towers. <laughs> By the way, for y'all who don't know, is a tower. Well, at that Korean place I usually go to, it's like three liters worth of beer, and like you just they bring you much cups, pour yourself mm-hmm. one. Last time I went. I got one, and, like, I was pretty, like, you know, the other people I was with to drink, too. And mm-hmm. they're, like, they're like, no, I'm okay, I'm okay. I was, like, all fuck right, well, yeah, hell all right. Yeah. So, I fucking fuck finish this shit myself. Hell yeah. I finished all three liters, too. Damn. Yeah, dude. No, nah, literally, like, after, like, poly, mm-hmm. after this one, I'm buzzing. Really? I don't feel this at all. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want to bring up. But I've been drinking a lot, though, so. It's kind of random, but I want to bring up the show I've been watching. It just came out on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's pretty popping right now. Everyone's watched it already. Like, mm. it's all over. It's called Love is Blind. Have you heard of it? I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. Um, I'll explain the premise of the show, which is basically... Um, is uh, A couple strangers walk into this mm-hmm. experiment or whatever. And uh, they end up uh, going in these rooms called pods. Yeah. And these pods are separated by um, like a glass-type uh, door. It's frosted over, so you can't even see like shadows or anything. Yeah. But uh, all they do is they sit on the polar opposite sides of the pods and they just talk to these, like, I think the rooms have mics in them. Mm-hmm. And they just talk to each other. And basically the premise of the show is to fee- see who you're attracted to the most on their personality and not their looks. Okay. So, but it's funny because they have no ugly people on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's not really like. Yeah, it's not really that random. Yeah, it's like, oh, we're going to choose you because you're, it's, they're not attractive. They're like, they're attractive enough. They're, yeah, they're like, like normal like looking people like you. <laughs> no, they, uh, um, honestly, I, I thought I thought half of them were pretty ugly uh-huh. as far as the guys go. Yeah, because like there was no like supermodel looking guys, yeah. so I guess that was good. But the girls were all like pretty much all pretty, attractive. And um, stuff. Yeah, attractive. Maybe not all my time. I don't know why but, I keep touching this cake? Um, <laughs> but anyway, the the show goes on, and uh, you talk in the it's you talk in the pods, and then you get married in four weeks. Oh, like, so you're, Mary, you're, yes. you're, like, settled. You're, yeah, you're, like... Like, you're, so you have to. So, basically, after these pods, the only way you move on into the next episodes of the show is you uh, you propose behind... You propose to someone that you haven't even seen yet. So, they're, they're like, uh, will you marry me? Like, yes. And then whatever. And then they meet each other for the first time. And um, from there, they go on and they go to, like, the, um, the honeymoon or whatever... And then they'll go after the honeymoon. They oh, move. without seeing each other. Yeah. No, 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 no. They go to the honeymoon. Like, after you engage, mm-hmm. that means you're set to get married in four weeks. Oh, uh, it's so. the, it's like the whole, like, between, before that, like, is the whole, <coughs> the pods, see each other? The pods, yeah. And okay. the, the second, so someone can um, propose to you within the first day if they wanted to. Mm-hmm. Or someone can propose to you, like, four days later. And then um, whenever you propose, you see each other. What's the maximum amount of days you have? I think it's like four or five. Okay, so it's like super so, short. Yeah, but you get like literally like four, six hours What if it's a day. like, no, you know, I don't want to? No, then that's it. That's it. Like, like are, are there like episodes like the, that or then like people a, like that? Or like how's it work? Is it episodes? Or? Yeah, no, the, every episode. So the, the show kind of picks favorites. And so it shows like maybe a total of eight people. For oh, couples. is it like. Like one episode, like it shows like everybody at first, and then and then like it's a, like, like it'll er, show like twenty people, people progress and stuff. Yeah, it'll show like twenty people in the first episode, uh-huh. and then by like episode three, you you only see like eight people. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because it, I think it chooses the most interesting storylines, gotcha. obviously. Um, but yeah, they'll they'll get proposed or whatever, and they'll, they'll head out to this. Uh, they go they go to Cancun for the honeymoon, mm-hmm. and uh, in Cancun, a bunch of drama happens. And it's pretty mm-hmm. good. It's like good ass drama. And you're like, oh, fuck. And then they come back to the States, and then I think it's Atlanta, where they're based out of. And then they live in apartments together for a couple weeks, like two weeks, and just to see how, like, their life would be together. And then after that, they start planning the wedding, and they go to the wedding, and then they um, they basically just go through with it. But there's a lot of people that, like, they say no. Really? Yeah. There's, at the end of the series, I think only two couples end up end up uh, together like yeah. actually marrying each other going through with it but it's funny because I think it's like five couples at the end and like at least three of them you're like okay for sure they can get married so there's like mm-hmm. a curveball there like you're like what the fuck yeah but there's this one chick that everyone hates her name's Jessica mm-hmm. she's the worst 
the absolute worst person. So she's dating the only Mexican on the show. Mm-hmm. His name's Mark. She oh, yeah. curves Mark and she says, "Hey, I want to get with Bennett. I like Bennett more than you." And he's like, "He's like, oh, so you're making me feel like an option? Like blah blah blah. I'm done with you. I know my worth." And then she goes to Bennett because Bennett had told her, "I want to marry you," but he never proposed. Mm-hmm. And then the next day, oh, is it like random? Like people like. They, like, they, they they're talk, not paired up like like everyone can meet no, each yeah, other. No, you can talk to you date whoever oh, you want. Yeah, fuck. yeah. So then this girl basically dumps. So it's blind dating. Yeah, and then, they, like it's like speed oh, dating, shit. speed blind dating. Oh, and then so um, basically this chick Jessica <laughs> she dumps the Mexican dude, and then she's like, oh hey, do you still feel the same way? And he was like, honestly, I don't know. He's like, I don't know what I'm thinking. He's mm-hmm. like, I shouldn't have said that, um, but I don't know. Like I don't know if I like if I mean it or if I don't. Um, and then she got all like you know basically like hurt, and yeah. then she goes and she tells the the other chicks because the girls all see each other and the guys all see yeah. each other. They just never see the, the they, opposites. Like, yeah, yeah. So she basically just tries to sabotage um, the girl that he's talking with. Mm-hmm. And he's like, hey, he's not sure what he wants. He's like, he's just playing the game and blah blah blah, and just talking shit about Damn. him. And then the other girl was like, all right, cool, whatever. Like mm-hmm. you do you. You know? Yeah. And then so, um, Jessica, after that, she got curved, she goes back to the Mexican dude saying, oh, I love you, you're the one I want, and blah, 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 all this shit. And then he's like, I know, I know my worth. He's like, I'm not no option. And then he ends up in, uh, proposing to her. Oh, my yeah, God, and then bro. So they go to Cancun, right? Yeah. And it's a spoiler alert, but literally everyone watched it already. Okay. Everyone the, who wants to see it. That's literally, like, it's been out a week, but, like, I was late to it. Oh, it's been out. It's I, only been out a week. I mean, it's been out maybe more than a week, maybe oh. two weeks. But it was filmed two years ago. Okay. Um, but no, like literally, I was late to the show. I saw memes and I didn't get them until like it, it just came out on Netflix. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, but um. Anyway, they go to Cancun, and the whole time she's like sneak, like sneakily trying to get at Bennett, the guy who curved her, and she gets drunk a lot. Like she's the alcoholic on the show, mm-hmm. and. uh like, Mark is just kind of dumb. Like, you feel bad for him because he tries so hard. Like, he loves this chick. Yeah. And literally, everyone's making out. Like, literally, everyone makes out. Everyone's had sex. Um, and she doesn't even, like, touch him in bed or, like, she, like, cringes when they hug. Yeah. Yeah, and he doesn't see any of the signs. He's fucking stupid. He's stupid, too. But, like, he's he's blinded by love, you know? Yeah. Or what he thinks is yeah, love. Yeah, which you can call love in four days. Yeah. And then, uh... You'd be surprised, though, when you, you know, you said that right now, but you'd be surprised, like, some of these people just, like, click. Yeah. And, like, you're like, oh, shit, they're, like, perfect for each other, almost. Um, there's a couple, like, biracial couples in there, mm-hmm. black and white. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, they always get judged. But Jessica, she was the worst. Like, she was, like, blatantly lying to this kid, telling him that he's... Just that so she, she, she basically, she like, loves stay him. on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, just saying how much she loves him and blah, 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 and all the shit. And then one night she got so fucking drunk um, that she's like, uh, he he says something about second best, right? And he's like, oh, she's uh, she's second best to you. And she got mad because he, he, he basically just said, you're first best and that girl is nowhere near you. So she's second best, right? Yeah. She got mad at that because she was like, so why are you calling her second best? He's like, that's disrespectful to her. And blah, blah, blah. I just, I don't know. She was tripping for no reason. Mm-hmm. And he's like, no, babe, I didn't mean it like that. And she's like, you know what? I, I like Bennett. I think he's cute. I think he's sexy as fuck. And she, he's like, what the fuck? He's like, I didn't say any of that. He got mad. But yeah, it's funny because he gets drunk. And she ends up kissing one of the other girls. Mm-hmm. But yeah, America hates her. <laughs> that reminds me of uh, episode one of Jersey Shore. Mm-hmm. When they hated Snooki. Oh, they hated Snooki. They were like, like, well, who is she and why she's getting so drunk? Did you drunk hear all that night? shit going on with her? Hmm? Did you hear all that shit going on with her right now? Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, they're doing the the new show, right? The uh, new season, Re- Reunion or whatever? Reunion, yeah. I haven't seen any of the, like, the new shit. Season one, and I I'm, I watched season one. That was good. And I watched like a couple episodes of the, oh, dang, what the fuck? Of the, of the like the new, Se- of the season, new seasons. No, no, season two, yeah, season, yeah, of the new ones. I watched season one, and then season two, I watched maybe a couple episodes here and there. Is it like, like basically the same or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, okay. it's more scripted for sure, yeah. but there's a bunch of real shit in there too. 
Um, and they all have money, like rent, yeah, they, the new yeah, cars. Yeah, like hell yeah, it's a fucking, it's a flex. Because you know how back then they would pick yeah, them up, dude. The first season to the next season yeah. to the next season, yeah. Bro. And then these, they live in mansions, like all yeah. of them. But um, that's funny. Except except Mike, he's in jail. <laughs> yeah, he, he was in jail for a while. Yeah, he got out. Um, tax evasion, right? Yeah, but uh, Remember, anyway, don't tax evade. They're on uh, season four. On season four now. Mm-hmm. And Snooki isn't gonna be on it because really? she, I think, I think the show painted painted her out to be like a bad parent almost, not on purpose but by accident. Yeah. And like people were like giving her a lot of flack for it, mm-hmm. and so she's like, no, I don't want no part of it. She's like, it was just a show. She's like, if I knew I wasn't like get paid to be a pa- bad parent, then I wouldn't have done it. I'm, I'm a good parent, and I believe her. Yeah. Because like, obviously it's just Hollywood. It's just like. You no, know? they they want to get the best story. Out yeah, of it. exactly. So I, I believe her, mm-hmm. and I don't blame her for like not wanting to do the show. No, yeah, for sure. But uh, that's the big like drama with this this series this season. It could just be a whole a whole thing, a whole ploy, yeah, yeah. and to get her back. But no, nah, I definitely yeah. enjoyed the the season that I, I need, saw. I need to watch him. Yeah, I have a something I need to confess on the podcast. I paid to watch. Uh, the uh, double shot of love, I bought like every episode. The what? <laughs> double shot of love with oh, Vinny and Polly. with Polly D and Vinny. I paid for every fucking episode, <laughs> two dollars and ninety nine cents. <laughs> How many episodes were there? I think it's like twenty, bro. Bro, I didn't do what? The math. I don't even want to do the math. What is that? Three times twenty. I don't want to do the math. You paid sixty dollars. I don't want to do the math bro. right now, bro. You paid sixty dollars. No, okay. For no, okay. I didn't pay sixty. I didn't pay sixty because the first like six episodes were free. So you pay, mm, let's see. You can't even do that math, so it's fine. Uh, 42. If that's right, then that's right. You pay 42 bucks. I think. For a season. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, no, I, no, I didn't pay that much because. Um, <laughs> you just keep finding like, oh wait, no, this and this. No, 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 because I remember I watched like six seasons, six episodes on uh, MTV and then it didn't let me anymore. Mm-hmm. And then I had one of those little apps that like you can watch like whatever oh, like, show. Yeah. And I watched a couple, but I don't know how many. Yeah. I know I ended up buying like, you know what? We can solve this right now because they're still saved on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. But um, it's also like, where else are you going to be able to watch those, you know, without paying for them? Yeah, you're not. Unless you like watch actual TV. But it's like, who does that anymore? <laughs> like, <laughs> let's see, how many did I buy? So the three bucks an episode. Okay, it's thirteen episodes. Thirteen. Three bucks an episode. So that's. I bought uh, hold up one two three four. That's thirty nine. <laughs> eight. I bought eight episodes. Oh, you bought eight. Okay. Yeah. So that's eight times three. Come on, bro. 24. 24. <laughs> oh, I did all the other numbers. Fuck off. <laughs> but, yeah. I was like, wait. 24 is still bad, though. <laughs> <laughs> but where else are you going to watch it on? You know? Yeah. No, it's the only reason I bought them. Obviously, I was hooked on the show, and yeah. I couldn't find them anywhere else. And I don't have cable. Any- well, I do, but I'm never at home to watch it. Yeah. So, you know, I was on the road. Yeah, I was, on, like, was yeah. at work and shit. So, I was like, whatever. Two bucks. It was... It was if you put it like this, it sounds better. It was three bucks a week. That's, it, yeah, it's not bad. It, 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 when I got paid, yeah, you, I would watch. You get paid show. weekly, so yeah. three dollars a week is not bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. You know, it was love that's like man. that's like buying two drinks out of gas. Yeah, but it was funny because all them girls were bad. Like mm-hmm. they were like real good looking, and neither of them end up with anybody at the end. But also, they're Polly and Vinny. Yeah, well, Polly at the end was like he had two girls to choose from. He's like, honestly. I don't want either, yeah. <laughs> Damn. In, in the nicest way possible. Yeah. And then it's Paul, he's Yeah, nice. and then Vinny chose this one girl and he ended up ghosting her like the second they left the show and she made like this whole Instagram thing yeah. about it and then they went on the reunion show or whatever and then she was like talking shit about Vinny, how like you're not you said you're not ready for a relationship and you ghosted me, but you were caught here and here with this chick. Mm-hmm. So she was she was just mad. Hell yeah, I would be too. Yeah. She was bad too. She was she was way taller than him. She was like, I think she was six foot, mm-hmm. and he's like five eleven or some shit. Would you date a tall chick like taller than you? Mm, mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> really? I was like, mm. yeah, I wouldn't date some. I mean, I'm six six and a half, six six. That's pretty. Tall. That's pretty damn tall. You know, if you're over six, they you deserve someone taller than you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think I would date someone taller than me. 
I mean, usually was six three. Yeah, six three. Yeah, so I mean that makes a little sense, but I think the tallest I would go is probably six five, six four. I want to date someone who's eight feet tall. <laughs> you want to date a tree? I want to climb up them to to kiss them. <laughs> I, I want, think I want them to pick me up, kiss me. I'm not really girl searching anymore. I, I don't hunt girls anymore for sport. <laughs> uh, I'm not really looking for anything yeah. um, with anyone. Uh, but definitely when I do try, mm-hmm. just because I'm going through like a whole me thing. Yeah. And, uh, but I know when that's I... That's why every single person says so I can feel better. Makes themselves feel better. <laughs> no, but this time I'm going through it. <laughs> like, I'm actually like... Hey, man, we're all going through it. <laughs> yeah. No, this time I actually am like, I actually like really am happy yeah. and like... I've had a couple things here and there, but then I'm like, you know what? Like, it's distracting me from what I really mm-hmm. want to do, which is like, you know, get money, mm-hmm. get healthier, look better, and just be progressive. Yeah, like self working on yourself and shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, but I like actually doing it, yeah, not yeah. just saying. Yeah, it. not just saying it to make like to make it seem like you're okay. Yeah, like you're actually okay. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, but yeah, when I do start, uh, I do want to look for a girl who's like mm-hmm. at least five nine. Mm-hmm. Because those those girls are like rare, but they're they're I think they're worth it. I've always settled <laughs> for like shorter girls. Yeah, nothing wrong with shorter girls. It's just not my preference. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I don't think you have like too much of a preference when it comes to height. Like, height. Yeah, like I'm fine with whatever. Well, I don't want them to be like five foot. Yeah, it's a little too. I've been with a couple like yeah four elevens five foot. It's like it's very uncomfortable. It's very low. Yeah, it's very uncomfortable. Like, very yeah, uncomfortable. It's, 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 you gotta bend it like Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now that we're done judging women. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone judges each other. Nah, everyone has their own preference. Yeah, like, um, it's not judging. It's just like, you, you, like, like, you like what you like. Yeah, you like what you like. That's all you can say at the end of the day. Yeah. You can't really judge someone what they like. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, you have preference. You everyone know where I do judge people at a lot? Uh, the dog park. <laughs> I go, uh, I try to... Oh, you got a new dog, by the way. Yeah. Since the last last season. Yeah. Lucy, throw some pictures. Bang, 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 bang. I have like 80,000 pictures. Exactly. That's all I need like four. Uh, like, I don't feel like getting all those pictures from you. Yeah, me. yeah. But, I uh, see him on social media enough. Bro, she's amazing. Look at this, bro. I mean, she, she's fucking adorable, bro. Look at this, bro. She's that's fucking adorable. cute, bro. Um, that's why you don't need no relationship, bro. You already got a girl. No, you know what, bro? You already got Lu- a girl, Lucy, bro. um... Like honestly, Magnet. like she she like changed my my life as far as like mm-hmm. giving a fuck about something, because I mean it's, you're a parent. Yeah, because honestly, that's I, I haven't had a puppy since Molly. She was um, she's like thirteen, fourteen, maybe mm-hmm. fifteen. I forgot, but she's I think she's fourteen. Um, but I you know think about that. Fourteen years ago, I was nine years old. Yeah. So it's like I don't remember any of the puppy things. Mm-hmm. And so when I got her, I was like, oh, I have a dog. It's fine. I, you know, I can take care of a dog. And then, no. Like, I was like, fuck. Like, this was, I was in for a rude awakening. Um, I had to, like, worry about her every day. Like, okay, who's going to walk her? What time am I going to walk her? What time am I going to feed her? Mm-hmm. Do I need to buy her any food? Uh, I need to put out a pad every fucking, like, 10 seconds because she pees on them so often. Mm-hmm. I take her out. It's not that I'm not taking her yeah. out. This it's just that pee, she, she pee, pee a lot. And so... Uh, I'm always doing that. She's always getting to shit. She fucked up like seven chargers of mine, mm-hmm. uh, iPhone chargers, like legit ones that cost like twenty five yeah. bucks. And I'm like fuck, and uh, she shoot up some shoes, some chanclas. Um, she shoot up a bunch of like shit of mine, um, and I had to buy her shots and mm-hmm. buy her a collar and get her shampoos and just her cage. Everything adds up, yeah. you know. And so just like it felt like a child to me. Or my, my like a little taste of having yeah. a real child, but right now it's re- real rewarding that she's like almost six months. Mm-hmm. Like she's pretty much at the point where like she's good. Like, have you trained her like to do like pretty pretty like, basic stuff? Yeah, yeah. She knows sit, paw, roll over, down. She knows roll over. Yeah, Hell yeah. she did it today at the park. That's little, cool. Little flex <laughs> on the mother dogs. Um, she's a big old baby though, bro. She um she got attacked today at the park. By a dog like the size of blue, <laughs> a little, little, little baby dog. A little baby dog, and then he bit her in the butt, and she ran and started crying, and then she was by me like like cr- like moaning and crying and shit. <laughs> and I picked her up, and then 
Uh, I was carrying her little baby. Yeah. I mean, I baby her, so she's a yeah. baby. And then so I put her down, and she had her little her little, <laughs> her thing, little like, up. It was up, and she was like, mm. Lippy. I was like, <laughs> bro, he did not bite. I saw the bite. Yeah, I I didn't. The owner was like apologizing, and I was like, like not like it was it's nothing. Fine. It was nothing, you know. Um, and she was just. And like you know, and then some some lady came up to me. Oh my God, is she okay? I feel so bad for her. What's her name? And you yeah. know, just so concerned. And I was like, Nah, this is a little bite. It wasn't bad. And then literally after that, she found her little boyfriend. And she was mm-hmm. fine. Oh, I saw that. He was a cute dog. He was way <laughs> cuter than her. <laughs> he was um, what was he? Uh, he was a yellow lab mixed with a uh, what are they called? The old yellow dog retriever or golden mm-hmm. retriever. But he was cute and like it looked like her boyfriend. That she doesn't play with dogs. Yeah. When we go, she doesn't play with dogs. She'll run with a couple of them and then come back to me. And I walk around. She follows me. She doesn't leave my side mm-hmm. when we're there. And it's annoying because I want her to like have fun. Um, but like that's like the first dog that she like actually like just kept playing with. Mm-hmm. You know, for the whole time she was tired. That's her boo, bro. Yeah, that's her boo. And then uh, I was talking to her owner, the no the dog's owner, the guy. And she was like basically saying that Lucy's too ugly for her, for him. That like if he, Damn. If, she didn't say that at all. But like I, I picked it up because she was like, yeah, she's like I might get him neutered, but I mean, yeah, n- neutered. But uh, my mom wants me to have like a litter with him before I do that. And mm-hmm. she's like, if I do do that, I want to do it with a golden retriever, uh, not a lab. So she, she didn't say that Lucy's yeah. ugly. She was just saying that like she wouldn't want like, yeah, Lucy's a lab. And but no, they were playing the whole time. I always want a dog, like, for myself, like, mm-hmm. like, I've had dogs, like, Blue, but, like, he's not my dog. Yeah, he's your mom's. Yeah. He just happens to, like, chill with you. Yeah, like, he's yeah. usually, like, with me, but, like, I want a dog on my own. You should have you should have adopted Brownie. I wish, dude. You I should. fucking wish. My parents would have never let me. You don't know. She's still tiny. She's, bro, she's tiny. Oh, uh, yeah, she is tiny. She's still, tiny. She, she's not going to get bigger. She's a miniature pit bull. Uh, what are they called? She lives indoors. She's a, She's trained indoors. She's low maintenance, doesn't shed. She's tiny. Like, I would do it. Uh, I would ask Maria for it. Bro, she's going to die in Odessa. Mar- Maria's not going to want to give her up. Jose will, though. Yeah. And Jose will, like, put it in a good word. And then she trusts you more than oh, the yeah, last person sure. that had her. So it's like, like I don't know. I love Brownie Girl, to bro- death. Oh, my she, God. I've she, had a Brownie, dude. Yeah, Brownie's amazing. The only thing is she would stink. and but No, she, she was, wouldn't stink. She, not uh, with us. No, she, well, she stunk, like, the other day. Mm. And she wants to sing with us though, dude. My, she, my, like well, we, we give, I said blue bathroom like four days. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like she stunk with them. Yeah, but they they don't. They, I mean, it's not their dog. They, they don't take care of her. exactly. I mean, they do. They take care of her, obviously, but like they don't really like care for her. Yeah, like a dog should be cared for. Mm. Um, or at least the way we're raised, like yeah. to take care of. I dogs. mean, I think just it's just be a normal thing. You can't take care of a dog. Give it, it gives yeah. you all its love it's like, ha- that they, it has. They, they don't really want them. Yeah, want exactly. Them. That's what it is. Well, dude, if I got brown, I'd be so happy. Brownie's amazing. And she's the perfect size. She's so, like, stocky. She's so little. Um, uh, bro, her, she cho- got, her she's, chocolate. She's still got um, a big-ass head. Her chocolate um, coat is mm-hmm. beautiful. Mm. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. She's a gorgeous dog, dude. You can pull her up on the on the screen for people to see. Boom. Yeah, she's she's amazing. Like she's so sweet. Such a cute. Um, dog, the man. only thing she'll she'll attack is chickens. Yeah, <laughs> she fuck up some chickens. Yeah, she'll fuck up some chickens, but not not people. Oh man. Yeah. When I saw her the other day, it was just oh my god, it was a flashback just to. Dude, I haven't been back there in a while. Yeah, she's amazing. I want to go get uh, lunch with Jose. I just need to wait till I got some money. <laughs> yeah, our old boss. He's, mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. We shall go. We shall go get lunch. I'll be down. After a fat check. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if not, I can invite him over for some ramen. <laughs> Shit. I'm sure. Bro, we can go over there for dinner. We don't even got to go out. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, we're an hour exactly. An hour exactly? Yeah. You want to cut this bitch off? Yeah. I'm down. Anything you want to mention before we cut it off? Or uh, No. Just welcome back, everybody. It's going to be a good season. Uh-huh. We're going to have uh, some guests on, obviously. Yeah. Some pretty exciting guests uh, we have planned. Uh, and the set's going to be changing a little bit here and there. Adding stuff, maybe like rearranging stuff, you know. A little, little change every now and then. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely uh, this season, 
we're going through like a lot of uh, growth as far as production mm-hmm. and doing things better that we learned from season one. Yeah, for sure. Um, the one thing I would like to ask of like our followers or people who like actually like like us because I've had people reach out to me is um, give us a lot of feedback. You know, yeah. uh, I do. Like last season, we didn't get much feedback. We got some positive feedback in the beginning, but we lost a lot of traction with that. Mm-hmm. So you know, if you want us to talk about anything. Um, just go follow us on Instagram. It's uh, uh, at the Rest Area Podcast. Yeah, just all the know. all our social media is gonna be in the description below. You can yeah, check so, it out there. Yeah, feel free to ask us anything, mm-hmm. any questions you have. You want to be on the show, and you have like some you know, stories, some, some, some or stories, like, or you have a business, or you just been through stuff, or you just feel like you have something unique to bring to the table. Yeah, you can most definitely DM us. Uh, we can work something out. Um, but yeah, just let yeah, us know, and, man. Uh, so another thing we want to be doing this season, that was the first episode, so hopefully by the next episode. But, you know, if you're an artist, like musical artist or anything, and you want to you wanna have like one of your songs like play at the end of the podcast because we're looking for outro songs. And, you know, we really want to reach out to the community. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you're an artist, you know, coming up in the game or anything, you know, shoot us a DM or something. And, uh... We get you like feature at the very end of the episode for yeah. the outro music. So yeah, if you guys have that, you know, hit us up. Yeah. We're looking for it. All right, yeah, guys, uh, appreciate it. Thanks for listening to the podcast. All right, peace. Yeah, later. Cool.